Um, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you again, Jean and, and Eddie, for the invitation. Um, so the, the session that I've been asked to lead was titled, Why Should I Know Where My City Invests um, City Dollars? And I was sharing with Eddie and Jean that this was very timely for the work that we're doing through Our Tomorrow. And for those of you who are not familiar, Our Tomorrow is a youth-led network um, where young people are empowering themselves um, on policy and decision-making that directly impacts them. And having young people engaged in conversations about where city funding is going in terms of youth services specifically is one of the key focuses of Our Tomorrow. So when this sort of opportunity came up, it was perfect. And one of the things I've shared with, with Eddie was last year, Up Partnership, which is the parent company of Our Tomorrow, Up Partnership launched what's called a fiscal map, uh, fiscal resource map, where we identified where federal, state, local, and philanthropic dollars were going in the city of San Antonio, particularly looking at who uh, was investing on youth services and what specifically were they investing. And so our team was able to identify about $331 million that was coming into the city from various resources um, and then break that down into specific buckets in terms of what are those primary outcome areas. And so the outcome areas that we identified that were being funded was safe and stable, healthy, connected, career focused, academically prepared and successful in college. Back in October, we shared the preliminary results of that fiscal map with about 10 to 15 young people. And what was really, really interesting to us was what the fiscal map showed in terms of what young people were experiencing or what was being funded was completely different than what, how young people were actually experiencing their lives day to day. And by that, I mean, there was a lot of money that was uh, being invested into young people's education, at least within those preliminary results. The disconnect was young people said, yeah, perhaps there is a lot of money going into education. We're getting educated, but there's very little money going into employment services and workforce development. So what do we do once we have this degree and we've graduated? What's the next step if there's no jobs for us, there's no career opportunities for us? So what that does is it allows young people to specifically target where they need to advocate for youth services, to better strategize around their, their advocacy campaigns. So this fiscal map that we will, as an organization, um, reveal in the next couple of weeks will be used very closely in the youth advocacy circles um, to help them better identify where, what areas, what outcome areas do they need to advocate for more, uh, more uh, services and funding on? And so during the breakout session, um, I'm excited to go deeper on that fiscal map, the results of that fiscal map to show young people specifically how much money is being invested in the safe and stable outcome area, how much money is being invested on making sure young people are healthy, physically, emotionally, and sexually healthy, making sure young people are connecting and things like that and then get feedback from them to see if, that, if this aligns with what they're experiencing. And if not, then what ideas, you don't have to go deep on ideas right now, but what sort of ideas jump out at you in terms of maybe we as a city can reinvest dollars here as opposed to in this area where we're already pretty strong. Um, so really excited to have that conversation and share these results. Um, with students to really get their feedback. Uh, because again, we all know how important it is, especially as we move into a COVID recovery plan, how important it is to have community input. Um, in this case, specifically young people uh, involved in those conversations and discussions around where do we invest? Um, what makes sense? Um, where are the disparities? And, and where are the greater uh, areas for opportunity? So thank you.